Hey everyone, Tiffany here with a setup video of this little TN here. Um, so I kind of want to give you some backstory, so if you are not interested in the whole talky-talky thing, skip forward, but little backstory here. So this year I have not been using any, like, TN or multiple planners or anything like that. I've been simplifying, so everything has been, like, simple. I have one planner, one scrapbook, one art journal, usually. Um, so my planner is my Filofax. It's a personal Filofax domino in the soft robin's, no, not robin's egg, um, duck egg color. I was in the pink and then I switched out to the duck egg. And so that is it. That's my planning, is in my personal size Filofax. I do monthly planning and a lot of to-do lists, and that is what goes there. And it's been working well for me that I haven't switched out the system at all. For my scrapbooking, if you've seen my scrap therapy video, it's in a Felicity Jane binder, which is their, it's Felicity Jane's planner, but I use it as a binder for my scrap therapy project, which is my yearly scrapbook of just, you know, sticking things in and stuff like that. And then I've been using art journals, but I've been hand making my art journals, so they're just tiny little books that I've been using for the get messy seasons so each season is another little book um, if you follow me on Instagram or if you've been watching my videos you would have seen this one the lighting has changed I apologize um, you would have seen this one this is my season of storybook and literally it's just art journaling in here and it's all for get messy and that's basically what I've been doing season of kindness was a different book I've been just using little books to art journal and so that is it. I just keep those three. And then I do a 12 by 12 um, Project Lifestyle album as well, but I've been just keeping to those three journal planner things. It's just been working so well for me just to have just uh, simplified and everything. Um, but lately I've been wanting one to get into a TN. Um, I've been trying I've been toying with the idea of moving my planning into a TN but I know that's never going to work because I can't plan in a TN. I like the flexibility of the rings and I can move each page. Like if I have a list and I need to move it to next month, I can just take it out and move it. With a TN, you can't do that because everything's in an insert. But I've been so wanting to get back into a TN just to have something in my bag. I do take my planner, my personal size planner. It's, it's not that big. It's like this. It fits in my bag okay, but I really wanted something more compact and smaller um, just for everyday like carry and go. Because um, I don't really plan when I'm out. It's just more for like if I need to write something down. You know, um, that's why I have this here. But, but yeah. So it was a thing like that. I've been toying with the idea of going for walks. Um, I've just been doing a lot of thinking. Um, if you notice that I was away from YouTube and Instagram for like a good month, um, I've just been doing a lot of thinking of like just changing up how I think and how I do things. I'm seriously a homebody and so I don't get out as much, um, especially if I don't have to go anywhere. Um, I won't leave my house and that's just really bad and as the weather is getting nicer I kind of want to be out and about more so I've been thinking of um, doing some walks um, I have not read Julia Cameron's book The Artist's Way but in that she talks about going on artist dates um, and she also talks about morning pages I've heard tons of stuff about both artist walks and morning pages from different outlets that I think I'm going to go purchase the book so I can read it for myself. Um, but I've been toying with that. I want to go out and take photos. I've been doing it a little bit, a little bit here and there, going to Central Park and taking photos, but I want to do more. I want to go out more and stuff like that. And I also want to journal more and document more of my thoughts when I'm out on those walks. So I kind of wanted something small that can fit in my bag and that's just used for journaling and writing down thoughts and stuff like that. So since I've been having the urge to set up a TN and go back into the TN, I decided that these little like journals um, would work really well in a TN. So this is an A6. I do have a TN in like almost every size, but I really love an A6 and I love the B6 size. Those are my two sizes that I really like. I love the A6. A6 was actually the first um, 
actually, no, it wasn't. I, I first started in a standard, but when I moved from the standard, it was the first size that I went to was an A6 size because I had the Hobonichi. And I love, love that size. So I bought this. This is a Foxy Fix Rowena in an A6 size. Um, I bought this from a mystery sale, so it was one of them that doesn't have pockets or stitching or anything. It was just the leather cover and white elastics that I switched out. I switched out for these kind of wine-colored elastic. Um, yeah, I don't remember what mystery sale I bought that from. It was probably years ago when I was into moving and changing things around. Um, so yeah, this is the A6, and I love an A6. You would know that I actually made my own before I bought the Foxy Fix. Um, from leather from Michaels and I just I love this size it's just a perfect size I it you know you know when you just know that it's your size it's just so perfect so I took it out because I love this leather I love this leather so much it's just so pretty and so soft and oh, love it um, so yeah I took it out I actually did partially set this up for something but I never um, used it and I never finished it. So I thought it was perfect. Um, I, rec well, not recently, but I've gone to Muji a couple of times to um, get pens. I always manage to pick up, though, those little Muji notebooks. And I picked up, I think, three of them for an A6 and two of them for a passport because I do have the Prima passport um, that I haven't tried yet, but I have now inserts for it. And the Muji notebooks are like a dollar, like they're nothing. And so I had three of them here, so I decided to use them as well. So first, okay, I changed out the elastic, and I had this. This was from an old necklace that I've had as a kid, and it's basically this butterfly in this brown stone color with these brown rhinestones, and it just matched perfectly, so I just kind of strung it there. Um, I have some charms here, uh, if you can see, I just made this myself, just with beads, and then this charm is one of those charms from Tim Holtz, and this one says, in every walk with nature, one receives far more than they seek. I put that there because I've been going on a lot of walks through Central Park, and most of what I have in here is sort of nature-themed, so I thought that was perfect. So when you open it up, it is just this. I don't have any pockets here. I don't like having pockets on the leather unless they're sewn in. And this one, of course, came empty. Um, this is my first little booklet section. Um, I don't use these dashboards as dashboards. They're just more of a decorative thing in front of the books. I don't know why I like having a laminated dashboard in front of each of my inserts, but I do. This paper is from a Daphne's Diary magazine that I laminated. I cut down and laminated it. And then on top, I've been making these, um, if you saw my previous video, I've been making these wonderful layered butterflies out of things. I've been tracing butterflies. I've been punching them from punches and stitching them up. And oh, so I kind of put two here because I like my dashboards to also be text textile and like you can feel them and so I have two here and they match and sort of this is the color scheme that I'm sort of going with throughout this whole TN. If you open it up that is the inside that was the back side of the paper it's so pretty a lot of floral and so this is my first booklet this is my first Muji book so what I did was I mean I don't have a plain Muji book to show you um, I might have a personal, uh, my personal size, a passport size in here to show you. So let's see if I can get this. But they basically look, they kind of look like this, more black. And they have, it's like a card stock black, and then they have like this black uh, fabric sort of rim here. These are the passport ones, so they look a little different. Um, but yeah, they're just plain... They're just plain um, inserts like that. So, of course, I decorated them. You need to decorate them. Um, and what I did was I just put down some washi. So, since washi is translucent, you can sort of see why it's all dark here. But it's floral washi. And this one's from Heidi Swap. And then I covered it with paper. This paper is a paper that I got. Ugh, I bought it in a paper pad from... I was in Paper Chase in London in their um, flagship one. Um, and I don't remember the brand of this, but at Michael's you can find the the tropical one, the tropical paper pad, 
it's really pretty and like two of the pages are like textured they feel like canvas or something um, it's the same brand but this one was all florals and so I picked it up over there I picked up the six by six paper um, and so I covered the cover of this book with that with one of the papers and this one's the textured one it feels so nice and it's so pretty and I just decorated it with bits from the planner society kit so this is um, April's planner society kit let me just adjust the light. April's Planner Society kit. That's a sticker. Um, and in the sticker, I was just going to put like volume one, volume two, et cetera, et cetera. Um, some trim here. This is um, fabric trim, adhesive trim from Michaels. And it has some flowers. And then again, more of those punched out butterflies. On the back, I just glued on, well, in the inside, I covered the inside as well with some planner study paper and then on the back I put this little lace trim so that I just love having the little booklets with little lace trims coming out so that's here and what I'm basically using these little booklets for is to journal so each day I'm just dating it with a date stamp and just journaling just some thoughts this is just me wanting to begin journaling again it's just random thoughts um, I think morning pages is you when you get up in the morning and you just kind of write stream of consciousness in your book I haven't really been doing that because I don't automatically go to write in the morning I, you know I want to take a shower and all this other stuff so but afterwards like when I'm eating breakfast and stuff I'll sit down with the journal and just jot something down um, I've been kind of decorating I pre-decorate the pages so um, if we see here some of these pages are already they don't have journaling on them but they pre-decorated because I don't know what it is with me in a blank page but I just can't do anything on a blank page so I do have stickers and ephemera in here and I'll show you how I have them stored so that I can pre-decorate before I journal. But it's journaling. This I've tucked in a flower so that I have this vellum here so that it doesn't rub onto my journaling here. Um, but yeah, so I've just been, you know, little decoration and journaling and I just started this so it's not really full. But that is my intention is to journal hopefully every day just a little bit even if it's like a page you know doesn't have to be so much um, but yes yeah, so I did a little pre decorating with little bits here and there and that's it these pages are just grid I like the grid paper um, this Muji paper it's not it's it's kind of cheap you can see through you know shadowing and stuff like that but I don't care I really don't care uh, so that is that one and on the back of the dashboard I have a planner society pocket and I have some planner society stickers from that kit that I've been decorating with and then I have these were from a sticker um, it's from Daphne's diary it was like a sheet that had stickers in it and this was the backing and since the backing is on sticker paper I was like might as well just cut them in strips and use them sort of like washi so I have that in here these were the labels that were on that so these actually come up. So the background is also on sticker paper, and that's what that is. Some stickers I have. These are branding strips from pattern paper. These are also branding strips that I kind of made into a little flag so I could just glue it there, and I stitched it. So I have that in here. So little bits to decorate. And then over here I have, um, since the TN doesn't come with a pen loop, I just made one elastic in the clip, and this is a .5 Muji pen. Um, I love these Muji pens. I use them for like everything. There's one in my planner, there's one in here, there's one on my desk. I just love these Muji pens. So I have the 0.5 here. It's really nice for journaling. And so that is the first one. This is how the back of that dashboard looks. And so this is my second insert dashboard. Again, I used some of that paper from that paper pad that I got in London. This one was just regular paper. It's double-sided. The textured ones are one-sided. Um, but yeah, so I used that paper, and this is from a Daphne's Diary magazine. It was something that was on the cover of one of them, and it was just heart with this beautiful design on it. And I just kind of strung this ribbon on it in a bow, and it just put it on top of the dashboard. Um, just to make it dimensional, textured, and everything. It looks really pretty, and it matches with this paper so well. This is the inside, so that was the back, the pattern on the back of that paper. 
This is my second book. Again, similar thing. I use washi tape here, Planner Society washi tape. I use paper from that same paper pad. So I've been, if it's not Daphne's diary paper, it's paper from this paper pad and it just works so well with the Daphne's diary designs that it's just, it, it just looks well. It just works so well. So I did the same thing. I covered up the insert. Here's some more of that Michaels trim. Uh, Planner Society die cut a little butterfly here and another label so I can write like volume two or whatever. The inside, I had a bunch of these little Daphne's diary calendars from 2017. They were the ones that just came in the magazine and so I just took the inside of it because it has this, this diary belongs to and I love that. So this one has one and my third one has one because I only had two. So that's what I put this one in. And again, it's just the grid paper. The back has the other side of that Daphne's Diary um, little insert. And the size was perfect. It was an A6 size. So I just all I had to do was glue it onto here, glue some ribbon because I like having the trim. And this is how the back looks. And that's that. The back side of the the dashboard, I have this pocket. This is a really old Amy Tangerine pocket. I had a pack. I still have one left, I think, of that came in this pack, but it's just a plastic pocket and it's actually coming off here. I just put it on with some double-sided tape. Probably gonna have to put more double-sided tape. And all I have in here are, I have some washi samples of just washi that I wanted to use. I have some Prima embellishments, I have some Daphne's diary paper, some like vintage type thing. This is from a Prima paper. And then I have some stickers. These are like vintage uh, stamp stickers and some owls. And so it's just more decorative things that I have in this pocket. I just have to reinforce it with some more double-sided tape. Um, but yeah, so that's what I have in here because I kind of want everything to be something that I can take on the go with me and like decorate and journal on the go. So a lot of stickers. And so that is the back. And then this is my last insert here. This is another Daphne's diary paper that I kind of cut down to size. And this is the back of that paper and just made the dashboard. I try to keep everything floral and pretty and everything. So um, this is a dimensional butterfly. So this, these were butterfly cut aparts from a Daphne's Diary magazine. Had all of these beautiful patterns on it, if you can see. Beautiful, beautiful. So I just kind of layered them and then layered some more of the paper butterflies. And I stitched everything. So it's supposed to be dimensional, but since it's in my TN and when it closes it gets really flat, but that's how it's supposed to look. It's so pretty and I love all the different patterns that I used and it's just, it's cute, it's really cute. So I just kind of put it there, of course, just to have something there. And of course it gets flattened when I close it. And then this is my last booklet. Again, washi tape, planner study washi tape, that same paper. This is the other textured paper and then that same trim and then one of the planner society girls the little label there, and another layered butterfly. The inside is the same grid paper, same in the back. This white trim here, and then the back looks like that. And so for this back pocket, I mean the back dashboard, I have another pen loop, and this one holds a pencil because I would like to like sketch and stuff. And then I made this pocket. I made this pocket from a Planner Society backer, and I just stitched some vellum. So this is a vellum sheet that I just kind of stitched the edge to make the pocket and it holds all of this ephemera. So a lot of it, this is Daphne's diary. I have those spare pieces of paper. Some of them are branding strips. These are those Daphne's diary stickers. And I have a lot of this stuff here. So this is from Daphne's diary magazine. These are from Prima. I made some layered butterflies. And what I did was I just kind of already put some score tape on the back and left it there. So when I use it, just got to peel it off. So that those are those. And now these, I wanted to show these. Um, these are printables that I have in my shop. Um, I have a sheet of butterflies that you can um, download 
and print off. I printed mine on sticker paper and then fussy cut, cut all of them out. So they come with these yellow butterflies on the sheet, those green ones, and these pink ones, and these little like orangey peachy ones. And it's all of these. I have so many of them. It's like an uh, eight and a half by 11 sheet that you can buy, download, and print. And I printed mine on sticker paper so that I can fussy cut them. And so now I have all of these little butterfly stickers. And so I have them here. They're ready to go, ready to use. All I have to do is peel off the back. And I will leave the link down below um, to this in my shop. But I also, this is another Japanese diary piece, I also have these florals in my shop. They're vintage florals. I, um, they're those vintage floral sheets that you can get on, um, got mine on Flickr on the biodiversity, the public domain. They're public domain images and I just painstakingly photoshopped them so that they're clean and like clean cut and everything. I made them into PNG files. So if you have a silhouette, you can download my PNGs and you can cut them on your silhouette. Um, I don't have a silhouette, so what I did was I collaged them on a eight and a half by 11 sheet and then printed them on sticker paper and fussy cut them out. But if you saw, know, if you saw this one, that's a sticker, one of those florals. And so I have that also in my shop. Um, if you wanna go check that out, I'll leave the link down below, but that is what I have back here. So you see, this is just a little pocket. It's one of those backer cards in the Planner Society that I sewed vellum onto and it became a little pocket to stick all of this beautiful ephemera that I would like to use in my journaling. So I have those guys all here in this pocket. They all fit. That sticks up a little bit, but I don't really mind that. So, and then of course the pen loop, and then the back is just this. And again, it's blank because I don't like anything on my leather. And that is it. That is my little Foxy Fix Rowena setup. This is an A6 size. Um, and yeah, that's how I'm gonna use it. Whenever I go on those little nature walks, um, I'm gonna bring it with me to just jot down notes and thoughts and stuff like that. Um, I'm gonna try and attempt to do morning pages in this as well. So it's gonna be both. It's gonna be just random journaling of just things that I'm thinking about. It doesn't always have to be a morning page. It can be an evening page, um, but that is my intention for this. And so far I've been a week with it and it's, it's going well, I guess, because it's new, that, you know, everything goes well when it's new. So we'll see how, how well this goes. But that was my intention, and I really wanted to set up a new TN. So I really hope you liked this video. I never know if people like these types of videos or not on my channel. Um, so I don't really do setups very often anymore. But yeah, so give it a thumbs up if you liked um, and thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy, I really hope you enjoyed a little look at my new sort of journaling project here, um, in my TN. And yeah, I guess I'll see you all next time.